Okay, well, so show is done now with its first season. Um, I, I have not been keeping up as much with the, um, I hesitate to say politics, but, you know, what's been going on with um, the forward progress. So uh, what do you want to share uh, in that respect? Well, it's one of those things. It's, 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 um, it's, it's the, the catch about doing a co-production like this is that, you know, if one partner doesn't go forward, it actually becomes very complicated. And um, HBO Cinemax has just been so great, <laughs> you know, because they love the show and they're determined to find a way to bring it back. And so we couldn't bring it back as Hunted. It just was not possible legally or financially. So we came up with this idea to do the spinoff that focuses more squarely on Sam's character. And it's a different format and a different series. But I still think it, it's true to the spirit of Hunted and that fans... If you like the show, you'll like it. You'll like the spinoff. Um, and it gives us a chance to answer all the questions that are still outstanding. Um, having said that, it's still not straightforward and easy. And we're still, we're still trying to make this a reality. It's not a done deal. I can't say with certainty it's going to happen yet. Um, I, hope, I hope to be able to say one way or the other, the other very, very shortly. But, um, but whatever happens, um, they've been great. HBO and Cinemax are incredibly supportive and um, and it's been a real pleasure. So will it have a different title and the whole nine yards? Yeah, it will. It will. It, I mean, it'll have, you know, Melissa, uh, Sam Hunter, and um, and everything else um, is different. But in a way, you know, and this wasn't planned. Obviously, the way Hunted ends, it kind of invites a, a break from the past because she has had to fake her death and disappear. So it's sort of. Um, leads naturally to a different situation for him. Um, have we talked previously about where, because um, the show was originally called Morton, correct? Well, what happened was, this was when Jillian was still in the show. Oh, okay. Nobody could agree on a title. <laughs> uh, but we had a script and we had to send the script out to the broadcaster. So Jane Featherstone, who's the head of Kudos, said, let's just call it Morton as a working title because Morton was on that paving stone outside right. of the cottage in Scotland. And as these things are wont to do, it just stuck for a long, long, long time. And then Cinemax came on board and they said, you know, we get it, but Morton is kind of obscure and poetic. And we need something a little more that tells you more what the show is. And then everybody agreed to Nemesis. And it was Nemesis oh, yeah. for about, I think it was about two months it was Nemesis. And then the BBC decided they didn't like Nemesis. <laughs> and they're like, now what is it? And... Um, and somehow it became Hunted. Hunted was one of literally a hundred titles we had, and um, everybody ultimately rallied around that. Do you think that moving forward, um, it will have the same sort of look and feel and and time frame? And because you'll you'll ha still have to do a full hour, correct? If you no no, it won't it won't? It's going to be different because because it's not for the BBC. Um, it'll be more like an American hour, you know. So it'll probably be you know. 45 to 50 minutes in that range, which is more what we do in the U.S. Um, and it won't be the long, at least I don't think it will be, the one long serialized story. I think it'll be more like missions, more like movie stories. Gotcha. Um, which I love doing. I mean, you know, X-Files to me was like a little movie story every week. Um, and I, I love the, the, the completeness of that, you know, of a unit you can watch and then watch the next without having to, to, you know, it's the opposite of what we did this year, really. We you have to watch the whole thing. So that's the, that's the direction we're focusing on right now. But that brings up an interesting point because, um, you know, X-Files was obviously the very first, well, maybe not the very first, but the most well-known show for doing that, but also doing the big picture, too, you know. Um, and... And I think that's something that's really missing from from TV these days because everyone's so focused on on the small hit, you know. And but there's something so rewarding about knowing a plot point from season two that comes back in, in season six, and it's just sort of this greater view of the story because that's the way that life happens, you know. And I think that that people forget that. I I think I've I've been thinking about this. I think something has changed in the audience, though, because 
you're absolutely right. And when we did X Files, it was you know just by accident. We just sort of hit upon this where we would do six, eight mi- max. You know, maybe once we did eight episodes a year that were mythology episodes. And so the the continuing storyline was very slow. It dribbled out over years and years and years. And you're exactly right. Fans would go, "Oh, that wasn't season two, and we picked it up again in season four. How cool!" Or the bees. You know, we had talked about those in two years. Right. And now they're the central. Um, and now when you do a show, it's not just the broadcasters who are like, we want it every week. It's the audience, too. It's, th- there is this hunger for those things. They're not willing to wait. They, w- they want it, and they want it. I, I found this when I did Night Stalker. You know, I, I, I had a mythology in Night Stalker, and I wanted to dribble it out, as we did with the X-Files. And I just kept saying, I mean, the, the broadcasters kept saying, we want that every week. We love that. That's our favorite thing. And the problem is that it becomes so baroque and complicated so quickly. Right. And then how do you sustain it for years? And, you know, I think, and I, I didn't watch a lot of Lost. What I saw I thought was excellent. But I'm sure that's part of what they struggled with, was that they were having to service their mythology every week. And um, it makes it tough. It makes it tough for it not to become overwhelming and, and too much for the audience to um, keep track of. Yeah, Especially- I, I definitely think that was that show's downfall, and I'm... I am definitely not one to um, critique um, creativity in any way, shape, or form because Lord knows I could not do that. However, Mm -hmm. I think that you're right. They got so bogged down in that, and by the end of it, I I personally as a viewer was like, I am ready to give up. I just don't care anymore because it got so heavy-handed and so ridiculous that it made it difficult. But you guys pioneered that sort of... Um, weave it in, but break it up so that you right. didn't kill yourselves and you didn't kill the audience. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, maybe that's a, um, a service to a 22 or a 24 episode season, which just isn't done anymore. Um, mm-hmm. And maybe you had that luxury. But I, I personally, as a, you know, mildly sophisticated TV viewer, would really like to, to see that again. It's also now... So many shows have these storylines that you've got to keep track of. And I don't watch as much TV as a lot of people, but I just, I don't know. How do you watch 10 series that all have these complicated, you know, things you're having to, to keep in your head, you know, and, and live your life? It's, it's a lot. Right. <laughs> um, and I also think there's something to be said for the trend of the 13 uh, episode season that so many of these basic cablers are doing. And, and I think that's where we as a country creatively are starting to find our stride, at least from an audience standpoint. Because you look at something like Mad Men, um, I have not started Breaking Bad yet because I wanted to watch the whole series in one chunk. So I'm waiting yeah. for it to finish. But And I know I'm sure people feel the same way about that. Um, and you're okay with waiting for a you know a year, eighteen months for it to come back because it was so dense that you've barely recovered before it you know it kind of come back comes back again. No, I remember even when we were doing X Files, you know, feeling envious of the Sopranos that they only had to do thirteen because you know to do twenty four episodes and make them all great, it's it's that's a tall order for anybody. It's it's huge amount of work, and if you can just do thirteen in a year. Yeah, you can really craft those in a way it's almost impossible to do with a much larger volume of episodes. I think that's why TV is so good right now. I mean, I think it's better than it's ever been and, and shows no signs of, you know, of slowing down. It just seems like the trend is more and more excellent television. 